fact, I know someone who knows exactly what the Arkansas game plan will be today. I'm pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Razorbacks now, Eric Musselman. So, uh, Eric, have you just heard uh, Jay are you going to protect the paint and recover out the shooters <laughs> just as he died uh, diagram there? Well, we got to do both. That's that's the key is can we uh, take away some of their three point shots as well as, you know, try to protect the paint, and not give up easy uh, two point shots. So I think we're going to have to do both from a defensive standpoint. Also on, on defense, uh, coach. You guys did a great job at really making Gonzaga's guards uncomfortable. Jay just showed how well Jeremy Roach has been playing for Duke. What is the what is the task in front of your guards today to try to to try to take away some of the uh, the plays that Jeremy Roach has been making? Well, Roach has such great ability to get in the paint, to get into the teeth of the defense. He's a late game shot maker, uh, but but the Duke guards present a lot of problems. They're also uh, other than Roach, they're very, very good offensive rebounders as well. So defensive blockouts at the guard spot becomes paramount. Trying to eliminate transition baskets. You know, looking at Gonzaga, we felt they were one of the top two or three transition offenses in all of college basketball. And certainly playing Duke, it's the same thing. If you don't have great committed transition defense, you give yourself no chance to win a basketball game. So we're going to have to get back in transition, uh, probably even better than we did against Gonzaga. Eric, how would you describe the way J.D. Note is playing? You know, the percentages aren't great, but he's been making big shots for you. Well, he does so many things for us. I mean, he's definitely going to take one or two, maybe more logo shots. Uh, some of them people would question whether what, what's that type of shot selection. But his ability to be a shot maker from long distance and his ability to get to the rim, it puts pressure on the defense to make decisions. Uh, are you going to take away his three? Are you going to play his dribble drive? Because if you only play his dribble drive, he is going to take uh, deep threes. If you take away the three, he's got a good mid-range pull-up. He's got a good floater. And he has the ability to be a high free-throw attempt player. So uh, J.D. Is, is a guy that also, when teams have uh, focused on him, what it's done is it's opened up uh, open shots for other players. Gonzaga uh, sloughed off of Trey Wade. Uh, he had a career night for us. Uh, made three balls, uh, had some great basket cuts as well, and J.D. played with unselfishness to find people like Trey Wade on the perimeter. I apologize that we haven't given you any real bulletin board material. I know you've been able to use that very effectively throughout the tournament. We wish you luck against Duke today. Must thanks a lot for being Appreciate with us. Appreciate you guys having me on. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.